Well, good morning. I've lucked out um, this whole section of speakers I'm introducing are all colleagues I've worked with, so I get a little bit of a little bit more insight than the bios they've written that you have all in your material. So while Pierre is getting uh, Pierre Arnaud is getting prepared there, he's a member of the Apache Directory Project, software engineer at IK Tech, a French LDAP software company. He's been a member of the Apache Software Foundation, a committer, PMC. He's currently the chairman of the directory project. And today he's going to talk to you about Apache Directory Studio, which is a tool that I love. So. I understand. Yeah. Thank you very much for yeah. such a great introduction. <laughs> <laughs> is the sound OK? Yeah, OK. So uh, thank you, everyone. I, I guess uh, not everyone made it uh, from the bar. <laughs> I can see that there's a less people than uh, yesterday, but I think they will come afterwards. So Howard already uh, talked about me, so I think I will uh, skip very shortly this few slides. <coughs> so software uh, engineer at uh, Ecotech um, for about five years, uh, working with Emmanuel on uh, the Apache directory uh, project, uh, especially on directory studio but also on the directory API, which uh, you will learn more uh, about today, and also uh, the Apache uh, DS, the directory server. Uh, committer member and currently the chairman, which means I have a report to do uh, <laughs> each, uh, each quarter, and that's basically, basically it, so it doesn't mean anything. Um, so the agenda for today, uh, first we are going to um, to see the current state of uh, Apache Directory Studio, uh, a little bit of history and uh, speaking about what it is uh, for people uh, who don't know about it. And um, we'll be uh, presenting a few uh, new things we are working on, uh, Apache Directory Studio 2.0. Uh, the release is not uh, really done yet, we still have a few things to do. Uh, we expect to, to deliver maybe um, 2.0 by the end of the year, uh, but still uh, many work to do. Um, afterwards, uh, I'm going to take to talk about uh, Ecotech Directory Studio, which is based on uh, Apache Directory Studio, and it's a commercial uh, extension uh, for uh, Apache Directory Studio. After questions and answers, of course. Uh, so the state of uh, Apache Directory Studio. First thing. What is Apache Directory Studio? Uh, I'd like to know how many of you have used or know what it, what it is about. Okay, so almost the full room. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So I think I'm going to, uh, to go a little bit fast also on these ones. Uh, it's, um, it's an LDAP client, uh, directory client uh, based on Eclipse. It uh, leverages uh, all its APIs and uh, extends it uh, with its extension points. Uh, it also includes itself a few extension points uh, that other third-party developers can use to extend Apache Directory Studio itself. Um, it can be installed on any uh, Eclipse distribution, uh, whether you're doing Java, PHP, uh, C++, or anything, anything that runs Eclipse, or even uh, some IBM software based on Eclipse too. Uh, but it's also available as a standalone application uh, we have, um, it works on almost any, any system from Mac OS to uh, Windows and Linux. Uh, it's free, it's open source, everything is available at uh, the Apache Directory project and uh, it is distributed under the um, Apache license 2.0. It has four major, five major features. First, I think it's the one feature you, you know best is the LDAP browser which allows you to uh, browse, edit, uh, create entries, a uh, lot of stuff, uh, load LDF, export LDF, DSML, uh, and stuff like that. There's an LDF editor specifically for uh, editing uh, LDF files with uh, syntax highlighting, um, code templates, uh, and stuff like that, the usual uh, Eclipse stuff for LDF. Uh, a schema editor, uh, which um, takes uh, open and up schema files as well as uh, Apache DS schema files, which are the same. <laughs> so it's pretty easy. <laughs> and, um, and 
in it, you can manage all your uh, object classes, uh, attribute types, create your schema, export it uh, to, um, to, uh, to Apache, Apache DS, for instance. And we also included a, a few, few years ago a feature uh, in which you, we ca you, can, um, you can download the whole schema from a live server using a connection. So it's pretty easy to start uh, editing a schema, the schema. Uh, next, um, a configuration editor for uh, Apache DS. Uh, Apache Directory Studio works with almost any LDAP server, but um, it, uh, it tries to, to work better with uh, Apache DS, of course. <laughs> and uh, we have a specific configuration editor which, uh, which makes it easy to, uh, to edit the configuration without uh, accessing the file, which was XML based uh, in the 1.0 release and which will, you will see is now LDIF based. So uh, working with text files is pretty good, but uh, sometimes a good graphical ed editor is much better. And lastly, um, it has an integrated uh, LDAP server uh, utility, basically to launch uh, and create a new Apache DS server within seconds. Uh, I really mean it, it takes about two seconds to, to create a new server and launch it. So uh, since a uh, picture was uh, a thousand words, uh, here's the architecture. Uh, in the middle, you can see all our, uh, our plugins. Uh, from the LDAP browser to the Apache LDAP server plugin. You can install it on Eclipse, and you can also download the uh, standalone application, which is RCP based, Eclipse RCP based. A little bit uh, about its history. Um, it was introduced, um, it was introduced uh, version 1.0 at uh, the first LDAPCon four years ago, so it's always a bit special for us to come back at LDAPCon um, in Cologne. Um, since then, we've had uh, five major improvements, uh, releases, uh, and uh, in that I'm not counting all the bug fixes releases. So now, we are, the latest stable version is uh, 1.5.3. It uh, was released in April 2010. Uh, for that release, only that release, since April 2010, we've had uh, more than 250,000 downloads. So that's a pretty big number. And uh, per year, uh, on, on the last year, uh, we are on a 150,000 uh, download curve. So, uh, and it's still growing. So LDAP is definitely not dead. Uh, Work on the 2.0 version uh, started a little bit after the release of 1.5.3. Uh, we saw that uh, 1.5.3 was uh, very stable, so uh, we, we thought it would be a good time to, uh, to start uh, shaking the things up and uh, <laughs> move, a few, move a few things uh, apart. So let's talk about the new features now. Uh, it's it's not already all done, but we're, we're getting close. So here's a screenshot of Apache Directory Studio 1.x or 1.5.3. And uh, here's the new version. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks pretty much the same, although there is a, a few differences. Uh, quite not noticeable, I guess, for you, but uh, there are some differences. Uh, most likely, the, these differences are uh, allocated uh, on the inside, not in the UI. Uh, we've done a, a lot of things uh, under the hood, and, uh, and it doesn't really show up in, uh, in the UI. So the first thing that we've done, um, you, uh, you have to consider that uh, at Apache, uh, we also have a directory server uh, project. So, um, and at the time, we, we created the server was first, and uh, Apache Directory Studio came after, uh, but it was not written by the same person. So we had our own set of APIs, our own set of, of uh, schema elements, of objects, Java objects representing LDAP, uh, LDAP objects. So it was not very good for, uh, for fixing bugs because fixing a bug in the server would not mean it would be fixed in, uh, in the studio and vice versa. 
So the first thing we uh, we started uh, was to to share a common code base with Apache DS. And at the time, we started uh, Apache, uh, Apache Directory Studio 2.0. Uh, we also started to work on Apache DS 2.0. So it was really the right time to to move things in a central direction and have a single uh, shared code for a much easier maintainability. So we, we now have um, the same code for uh, all the standards uh, LDAP objects like uh, connection, uh, attribute, entries, values, and, and stuff like that, ma matching rule. All the schema elements are, are reused. And uh, as I said, few ch changes in the UI, but major changes in the, in the inside. Again, a picture of, uh, of this model. So we have a lot of project, different projects uh, shared between the two instances, and uh, it's very, very, very easy now to, uh, to maintain all this stuff. Um, Ludovic Poitou uh, talk a little bit uh, about uh, the joint effort we, uh, we've had uh, with uh, the Sun community. Uh, it was presented uh, at LDAPCon, uh, the previous LDAPCon in 2009 in Portland. Uh, we were uh, trying to get a single uh, library uh, API for uh, connecting to uh, LDAP servers uh, written with uh, all the Sun guys and the Apache, director, Apache directory guys. So it started in 2009. Uh, Sun was bought afterwards uh, by Oracle. Uh, and <laughs> I think uh, Ludovic uh, explained uh, what happened, so <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, so they went, they went uh, in another direction, and it was complicated at this time, so, and we really needed to, uh, to go forward, so we continue the work on, on it. And uh, have, you, have you seen uh, yesterday, uh, I think now, uh, that the situation with OpenDG, OpenDS is uh, stabilizing, uh, I guess. Uh, it's now about time to uh, to get back together and uh, and go uh, go for a, a single uh, single thing. But in the meantime, we've had uh, a lot of work doing in uh, in this direction, and uh, and we now have a, a really good API um, for uh, which is based on the LDAP protocol. So if you know the LDAP protocol, you will know how to use the API. This is not like GNDI or <laughs> some things uh, don't mean the same things in LDAP. <laughs> For instance, in the bind in, uh, in GNDI, uh, which will create an object and not really bind the, uh, the server. But uh <laughs> uh, so it's very easy to use. Um, we've uh, we've wanted to uh, to do something uh, for the beginner, but it's also very versatile. So you can have also very rich features in it. So um, it's from beginners to um, to very expert, uh, and uh, and we use it. Uh, the expert way in uh, in the studio and in the server. Um, it supports a lot of things, um, simple and uh, complex connections, uh, entries, attributes, uh, values, manipulation very easily, and uh, also some utilities to uh, read, read and write LD files uh, in, a, in a few lines of code. So what I want to do is um, show you just a few uh, example of how it looks like. So, um, as you can see, it's uh, it's very lightweight, uh, nothing very complicated to to understand. Uh, we create a connection with, uh, with a few parameters. Uh, of course, with uh, uh, some very complex connection, it will be a lot more complex. But uh, in this case, it's very easy. Uh, then we bind, we create uh, a search. From this search, we get the results, and we iterate through the result. Then we iterate for each result through the entry uh, attributes, and then for each attribute, we iterate uh, through the value using uh, all Java 5 uh, stuff. So it's very, very easy to use, uh, and we like it a lot. The second example uh, is uh, how we you manipulate uh, entries. So again, very easy to use. Uh, we are using also uh, Java 5 uh, features like Bahag on the second line. Uh, 
and uh, easy to use to, uh, to create uh, attributes and values. For example, uh, on the second line, uh, we are adding two values for the object class at, in the same line. Uh, then we create the entry, we delete it, we close the connection. Very straightforward, uh, I guess, with a, with a good IDE, uh, you press <laughs> control space and you get all, you, all the things you want. Uh, very easy also to read an LD file. You just uh, push the, uh, the the file, and that's about it. You, you can browse through uh, your entries. So very very easy to use, and um, in Directory Studio itself, it materializes only in one widget, which is this one. Uh, if you want to use, we, we've managed to uh, to 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 have on a per connection basis, uh, you can choose the LDAP provider you want to use. Of course, uh, we didn't, didn't want to, uh, to cut uh, the GNDI compatibility, so it's always there if you want it, but we are going to push forward uh, towards uh, the Apache uh, directory LDAP client. So now on a connection basis, you can select which uh, LDAP provider you want to use. So that was the first thing uh, we, we worked on. The second thing was uh, a new version of the configuration plugin for Apache DS 2.0. So first, uh, a little bit of an overview of uh, what's coming in Apache DS 2.0. Uh, the first thing is we've uh, recreated uh, all the configuration. Uh, before it was using Spring and XML, and uh, it was maybe not a good idea. <laughs> so <laughs> we decided to, uh, and we also we had some inspiration from OpenLDAP maybe. So <laughs> we uh, we are now um, using a single LD file as a config file. So since uh, you all know LDAP, I guess you all know LDF. So you will know how to to edit the file. So it's very easy and much more easy for. Uh, for custom for for uh, users. Uh, the second thing was uh, a really huge task. Uh, it was uh, a cl completely rewritten uh, schema manager inside the server. Uh, the first one was pretty good, but uh, I guess we we needed another one, and uh, and uh, it was also shared with the schema editor uh, on the studio side. So uh, we rewrote the complete thing, and it's now very efficient. Uh, next is uh, replication. We are uh, imp we have improved the replication following uh, RFC 4533, the same one as OpenLDAP. So we are uh, inter interrupt. Uh, we can replicate uh, an Apache DS server over an OpenLDAP server and vice versa. Right now we support master slave. We have plans to support multi master very soon. And uh, last thing for Apache DS 2.0, uh, our goal at the end, it's not already done yet, but is to be OSGI compliant and be able to uh, load the whole server on an OSGI container. So the, based on that, the fact that uh, we now use LDIF, uh, we had to rewrote a complete thing for, uh, for reading the configuration. <laughs> So it's, um, it's based on LDIF, but it can also read the, uh, the configuration through a connection. So you just right click on the connection, you choose open configuration, it will pull out all the data from, from the node and read everything, put everything in memory and comes up a very beautiful uh, editor for editing the configuration. From basic uh, management to a much complex uh, partition, uh, which is the same thing as databases in OpenLDAP, uh, configuration, configuring indexes. We've had uh, a lot of widgets to, to do a lot of stuff. Here is uh, what it looks like. Uh, I will do a demonstration about it in a few moments. The third feature uh, we wanted to, uh, to add, uh, or I guess to improve, uh, was a new LDAP server plugin. Maybe you're not aware of it, but uh, Apache DS 1.5.3 and earlier versions 
uh, have a, an integrated uh, LDAP server plugin which embeds Apache DS. And you can create very easily uh, an Apache DS server in a few clicks and launch it in a few seconds. So it's very, very easy. Um, the goal here is uh, to help people uh, in a development environment. Uh, I guess you won't use that for a production environment, clicking on buttons to launch server, but uh, if you want to, you can. Uh, but it's very ta targeted for a development uh, environment. Um, and what we wanted to do, uh, we reward the whole thing uh, to be not only compatible with uh, Apache directory server, but to let other, if they want, add their own server implementation and, and be part of this plugin so you can create a new server, launch it in a few clicks. So we, have, we are going to, to give a few extension points uh, for other people to contribute plugins for their own server. So if the OpenDG uh, community wants to, uh, to be part of it, you're welcome. Uh, here is a screenshot of uh, the new creation uh, wizard for uh, a new LDAP server. Uh, based on the plugins you have in your uh, installation. A few uh, servers come up. Uh, right now it's only uh, Apache Software Foundation based, but uh, soon maybe it will be uh, a lot more people going to, uh, to this plugin. Uh, I will also, uh, I guess now it's time to, to, to do a, a demonstration about it. So here is uh, the new version. Uh, as I said, it looks almost like the old one. Um, first, the first thing I'm go going to do is uh, demonstrate the LDAP server creation. Uh, now in uh, Apache Directory Studio, you have a, a specific view for uh, all the uh, LDAP servers you have on your setup. And it's very easy to add a new one. So just click on this uh, button here select the version you want. So we have a large set of versions, all the versions, and a new version. So I'll take the, the latest. Uh, so you select the, the version. Uh, you don't have to have it installed elsewhere on your, uh, on your device, on your, uh, on your uh, computer. It bundles everything. You don't have, an, you don't have to need a, an extra download about it. So I just click Finish and I created a server. If I want to run it, it's that easy. I have an old computer. <laughs> uh, so the server is started. I guess I clicked three times and we have waited about 20 seconds. So it's pretty, pretty neat. Uh, now, if you, since we are, we are, we are now able to, uh, to read the, the configuration of the server, uh, why not have uh, the plugin create the connection for us? It knows everything, so just have to click this button and boom, one connection is created. Again, one click. Let's connect to it. It works. Uh, I'm going to unbind and go to the properties. Um, right now, we are using, as default, JNDI because we are still defining a few things on the API. Uh, but I, so the default choice is still JNDI. But I at the end, I think uh, we will push uh, to have the Apache Directory Studio, uh, the Apache Directory uh, LDAP API, as a default. So just to demonstrate that it works almost quite good as a, as the NGI, I'm going to use it to, to connect to the server. So again, it works again. And it's very easy, uh, very easy, very fast. Uh, we've done some benchmarks about the uh, LDAP API and it's almost as fast uh, as a GNDI and we don't have done any improvements yet. So there's room for other improvements. Um, 
So next thing I'm going to show you is the new um, configuration editor. Again, it's very easy to, uh, to do such a thing. Uh, we've, we had, a, if you, uh, you right-click on the connection, uh, at first bind, the connection takes a few information on the root DSE, and then it can detect the, t the type of server uh, based on uh, the uh, vendor version, uh, vendor name, and a few other things. That allows us to, um, to trigger a few new things in the UI, like this open configuration uh, link here. So here what, uh, what it has done, it has uh, loaded the whole thing in memory and it's displaying it, the whole configuration of the server, which is hidden under um, how you go equals config. Not CN, for you. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of things uh, underneath the, the, all the nodes here. Uh, it's not very user friendly. Uh, of course, at directory, we know what it means and everything. And most people will know if they want to go expert on this. Uh, but for the most common users, uh, it's very easy. Uh, to, to administer and uh, to configure the server using this, uh, this, uh, this display here. So what I'm going to do, um, so there's a, an overview page where you, uh, you have uh, a few things, uh, common things that you want to set up, like the port uh, from the LDAP, LDAP server, Kerberos server, and stuff like that. What I'm going to do is uh, create a new partition and uh, and then I will add a few entries using LDIF. In the, uh, in the Apache directory server uh, world, a new partition is uh, a naming context or a database in the open, open LDAP world. So what, uh, when I press the save button, what it's going to do is uh, it's going to um, to render all the configuration in this editor in uh, in a set of uh, ent elif entries, I guess entries. It's going to compare it to the previous version, the which we uh, which we we load uh, this uh, editor with. It's going to compute the differences, and then it's going to put back new entries in it, depending on the configuration you've edited, of course. So as you can see now, we have three partitions, and we also have all the indexes underneath it. So the last thing I'm going to do is uh, import a few entries. Again, to show you that the API really works, and it works great. Nice. I forgot one thing. Uh, I need to reload the server. <laughs> That's the demo effect. So I stop it, I restart it. So now we've had uh, a few entries, I guess uh, 15 or 17, and uh, you can browse uh, in them and uh, it works uh, the way it should work. So um, I guess this is uh, the presentation of uh, all the work we've done uh, over the, fast, uh, the, the last year. Uh, again, not so much many things in the UI, uh, but the inside is very different. We also have a few uh, new things uh, under the hood, the new extension points for uh, for a lot of stuff, uh, and the best we we have to update our documentation about it. Uh, now we're still coding, so 
we will update it afterwards, but uh, a lot of things uh, are very hidden, but uh, we changed a lot of it. Okay, let's go back to uh, the presentation. Okay, so uh, that was a presentation for, uh, for Apache Directory Studio. Uh, and as I said, we've, had a, we've added a, new, a, a large number of new extension points and I'm going to use uh, Ikitech Directory Studio, which, which is uh, our company uh, product, uh, which are, we are still uh, developing. Uh, there's no versions uh, available yet, uh, still a lot of things to do, but this is a, a small preview but not only to, to promote it, but also to show how easy and uh, how interesting it could be to, to use uh, Apache Directory Studio as a, as a base for, uh, for a few other products, just like Eclipse is uh, as, a, as an IDE. So it's based on, uh, on Apache Directory Studio and uh, leverages uh, all the points that we, uh, we've shown uh, uh, a few slides ago. And, uh, at uh, at Ikatek, we are uh, we, ha we are a software company, and uh, we try to do our best to uh, to deliver a good open source uh, products. And uh, in a sometimes you have to make money, so uh, we do consulting also. And uh <laughs> and uh, in our consulting jobs, uh, most of the the things we do are. Uh, uh, not so much related on Apache DS yet, but uh, we are working on it. So we rely uh, a lot uh, on uh, OpenMD apps. So we've decided to, uh, to add a few things to Apache Directory Studio in that direction, in the direction of OpenMD app, but also improve uh, the existing uh, more general uh, Apache Directory Studio features. So the first thing we've, uh, we've created is a template editor. Uh, nothing, it has nothing to do with OpenLDAP. Uh, it works on any server. Uh, in fact, it's uh, on the client side. Uh, so the, 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 the aim of uh, the, the template editor is to display entries uh, in a nice way, I guess. Uh, but not only display, but you can also edit them. Uh, we've uh, created a set of templates. These templates are uh, based on the object class of the entry. Uh, so the selection is done uh, on if depending on the object class. The templates are written in XML uh, with a, I guess, sim I hope, simple uh, syntax. Uh, so additional, we, we bundle a few of them uh, for most common uh, objects. And uh, you can also add your own if you want to develop them or have someone develop them for you. Uh, in this format, we support uh, a large number of widgets from uh, text field to <coughs> check boxes. Uh, these are very simple ones, labels and stuff like that. Uh, but also more complex ones uh, like password, date editor, uh, soon DN editor, uh, a few things like that, image editor, uh, very easy to use. So I'm uh, going to show you an example of uh, what uh, a template looks like. So uh, that's a lot of code, and uh, you can see that I've uh, <laughs> removed a few lines also. But uh, I guess uh, it speaks for itself. Uh, first, we define the template, give it an ID and a title. Uh, then we uh, specify on which object classes, uh, and in this case, it's on INS World Person, a structural object class. And then we have the form part. Uh, in the form part, we're using widgets. Uh, we have a uh, very good documentation about uh, how to use our widgets and uh, defining all the format. So here we create a few composites, a few labels, and uh, in the end, uh, when you edit an entry, uh, it looks like this. So it's much, ni much nicer than a typical uh, table editor. 
Uh, you can create read-only widgets and you can create editable widgets. So if you want to, uh, to be able to, uh, to show only uh, the information but uh, without giving the, the right to, uh, to, uh, to edit it, you can do that. Uh, the next thing we've uh, added to uh, Apache Directory Studio is the Combine Editor. The Combine Editor uh, takes the three most used uh, editors uh, you have uh, on, uh, on Apache Directory Studio and uh, combines them in a nice way uh, using a tab bar at the bottom so it's very easy to go through uh, each editor. It looks like that. So if you want to, uh, to go to the template editor, just click on the tab. If you want to go back and grab maybe uh, the LDF representation of the entry, you go to the LDF editor and uh, take the whole, uh, whole entry and copy paste it on the file or something like that. Uh, next thing uh, I'm going to, to present here is uh, the uh, OpenLDAP uh, ACL editor. Uh, the ACL uh, platform, uh, ACL format uh, on OpenLDAP is, uh, is very, very good uh, and it can also be very, very complicated. <laughs> so we've, uh, we think uh, it would be a, a good idea to, uh, to present uh, a graphical form of it. Uh, of course, you won't be able to, uh, to edit very complex uh, set of ACLs uh, with it, uh, uh, but for uh, simple ones, it's much easier. So it, uh, it edits values uh, for the uh, OLC access attribute. It has a dual mode. Uh, first, a visual editor for uh, easy editing. And uh, if you want to go uh, to a more complex, uh, complex SEL, then you can use, uh, it's, it's splitted. Uh, you can use the source code editor and we've added a few features like syntax highlighting and code templates for uh, easy, easy uh, editing. It looks like that. Uh, this is the visual editor, so uh, I guess it's, uh, easier uh, to, to understand. Uh, okay. Next and last thing is the uh, OpenLDAP configuration editor. Uh, it's almost the same thing as uh, the uh, Apache Directory server uh, editor. Uh, again, we've leveraged a few things that comes free from Apache Directory Studio. Uh, it reads the configuration of our connection, just like you've seen uh, in the previous demonstration. And uh, the graphical uh, editor helps you uh, to create uh, the configuration very easily. So here is uh, what it looks like for uh, databases. So since I have, I guess, uh, three or four minutes left, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to, uh, to do a last demonstration about it. Okay, so here is uh, Wikitech Directory Studio. Uh, again, looks very familiar. And um, I have uh, an OpenLDAP server running uh, on a Ubuntu uh, VM here. So um, I'm going to connect on it. And I have a few ACLs um, somewhere, I guess it's here. So again, we've leveraged all the APIs inside Studio. One of the APIs is uh, the ability to add a new value editor. So if you click on an SEL uh, value, then by default on Ecotech Directory Studio, the default editor for this one is uh, the SEL editor. So it, it looks like that. And uh, on the comp more complex one looks like that. Um, you can have specify access to what based on GN, filter, and attributes. On the access to by who, uh, you can create almost as you want uh, uh, the number of uh, who clauses you want uh, and very easy to add and to edit. We've uh, created a 
a few uh, widgets to select uh, uh, very simple uh, simple things. And uh, again, it leverages uh, all the uh, the APIs inside uh, inside Studio, like this uh, DN editor, uh, which uh, reuses the usual editor we have in Studio. If uh, the expression you have is uh, is too complex, then you can use the source code uh, editor uh, with syntax highlighting, uh, as you see, and code templates. If you start uh, typing, you can have a very uh, very clever things like that. So that's uh, the ACL editor. Uh, here, you may have not noticed, but we are using the uh, the combine editor uh, on uh, on entries uh, that don't have any templates associated with it, uh, it won't show the templates because it's not very necessary to be empty. So it switches back to uh, to the uh, table editor, uh, but you can also go to the LDF editor and uh, select everything you want. Uh, I'm going to show you a few uh, templates we've, we have uh, based on the uh, insertion LDF uh, I used on uh, Apache DS. So this is um, a read-only uh, read template. Uh, here on the right side, uh, you have a button to uh, select the kind of template you want. Of course, it only displays the templates that, uh, that are for the given object. So here you can switch from uh, edit to view mode. Um, I guess a user might be uh, more uh, beautiful to show. So again, I don't know about you, but I think this looks good, but this looks better, especially when there's a picture. Um, we've created a few um, a few other templates for uh, the uh, Apache DS stuff, like the schema, which is OU under OU <laughs> equals schema. So here uh, you can see uh, the schema description and its dependencies. Underneath it, uh, you can access uh, all its attributes. And again, with a simple template, which you can edit. Of course, it doesn't have all the features you have in the schema editor itself, the other plugin, but for a few things to edit, it can do the work. And you can also show, uh, I can also show you uh, a few uh, object class, I guess. So again, uh, very simple uh, display. Um, just one last thing before uh, I do, uh, do we have the time? Just two, one minute. Uh, we've uh, created um, also a, a specific implementation for uh, the LDAP server uh, plugin, uh, which allows to launch uh, any kind of server that can be launched on a command line. So you can specify here the, the, the command line for your start command and for your stop command. You have to specify the port of the server because we can't read any, we don't know what server is behind it, so we can't read the configuration and, and uh, look for uh, which port it's running on. So we have to, to have you specify the port so we can listen on it and see if the server is running. And you can display the logs in the console. So uh, it's very, very easy to, uh, to launch. Uh, here, I've, I've set it up for uh, an Apache DS server, but you could also <coughs> Add a open LDAP or any kind of server. Okay, so I guess uh, this is the uh, the end of the presentation. Thank you very much. And uh, <laughs> if you have some questions, Not really a question, but I would like to say thank you very much for <laughs> Apache Directory Studio. I think we're all here 
uh, get rid about uh, Adapt Browser, G Explorer, <laughs> LDP.exe. Okay, so uh, it's not a question, it's just to say thank you for this tool. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> But we, we did it in the first place to get rid of this, those things also, so <laughs> it's pretty good. No more questions? All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much.